Hello traders, welcome back on our YouTube channel. This is the Sailing FX Traders YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to draw proper trend lines in Forex. If you are new in our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified on every video we shall be uploading. Now, without wasting time, let's jump into our topics and we see the steps one can take to draw proper trend lines. It takes at least two tops and bottoms to draw a trend line, but it takes three to confirm. Now, what do I mean here? If you are to draw proper trend lines in the forex market, you must at least take two tops or bottoms of the structure in the market in order to get confirmations on how to draw proper trend lines. If you get to see, in the our step number two, we are trying to talk about in a downtrend, you simply draw the line by connecting the low highs to form resistance level. What do I mean here? If you are drawing trend lines in a downtrend, we connect the recent low highs to form a resistance level. Which means, if you are focusing in a downtrend where the market is making low highs and low lows, you must be focusing on drawing on low, lower highs, whereby you're going to be forming a resistance level. Now, whenever the price reaches those lower highs, you must be getting some confirmations to sell. Another step is that in an uptrend, you draw the line by connecting higher lows to form support levels. If you look in an uptrend, you must be focusing on the market making high highs and higher lows. Now, if you're drawing trend lines in the uptrend, you must be focusing on higher lows of the market. Now, by connecting your trend line on the higher lows of the market, that will be or will act as a support level. Aim to sell or buy when the price touches these trend lines. Remember, trend is your friend as long as it's not broken. You can ride it as long as you want. What do I mean here? You can aim to sell if you're in a downtrend. You can aim to buy if you're in an uptrend. But don't sell or buy when you have not got the real confirmations where the market is moving. Another tip is that never ever draw trend lines by forcing them. Switch to a line chart to see proper turning points and draw a trend line. I'll be showing you this in our charts. If you are to draw proper trend lines, don't force them. Draw trend lines in a simple way whereby you are not forcing them so that you can get a clear pattern or a clear trend. Now I have a little picture here, an illustration picture. Maybe I'm going to show you in an uptrend the way we draw trend lines, in a downtrend the way we draw those trend lines. Now, if you see in an uptrend, we have the market giving us, the market is giving us, the market is giving us higher highs and higher lows. Now, when the market gives us higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, highs and highs. Now here you you must be connecting this recent higher lows of the market because this acts at a support level of our structure. Now you must connect the, these higher lows one by one. You see here I was connecting point one point two. Here you buy, you buy, you buy. Why? The market is recently supported by many levels. But this structure is for a, an uptrend. Now, if you look at a downtrend, we shall be focusing on market making low highs and the low lows. Remember, we said in our notes here that in a downtrend, in a downtrend, you simply draw the line by connecting the low highs to form resistance levels. Now, if you come, now picture you see that we are focusing on drawing our trend lines connecting the low 
kites. Now, let's jump into our charts to get more information on how to do it. Now, I have a little, I'm focusing on payable Euro USD. I've been drawing some good trend lines here, but I'm going to give you an example. Let me first delete this. Now I'm going to show you how to draw proper trend lines. Now, if you are to draw a proper trend line, I see here we, are, we have a little bit of trend. The market gives us a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Now, remember, we must connect two to three points to get confirmation that our trend line which we have drawn is correct. Now, I think you see this first touch here. The market gives us another first touch here give us another second touch here but this was a pick up now we draw train lines connecting mostly two points of the market but in most cases you must get three points in order to get a clear confirmation that the train line you have been drawing is correct now if you see this level was our first touch and this level was our second touch same case now this is acting as a support level now whenever the price reaches on this level you see it was buying at this level they bought at this level it was buying now we acted and drawn this level which took us in the way that the price was respecting it and it was our support level. Remember, we are in an uptrend. Now, if you connect those high lows of the market, is the same way you bring your trend line and connect these higher highs. So, if we connect these high highs, remember, this is going to act as our resistance level. Remember, we're focusing on drawing two points or three points to get confirmations that our training has been drawn properly. Let's see another example here. It's also in an upgrade. I drew this train line here. This one was our first confirmation, and this one was our second confirmation. Remember, you must get at least two to three touches in order to draw a proper trend line. Another thing is that whenever you're drawing trend lines, you must focus on the trend which you are. If you're not focusing on a trend, then you will draw trend lines which are not. Then for beginners, you can there is an indicator you can use in order to draw trend lines. So if you'd like to get that indicator, you go to insert, you go to indicators, after going to indicators, you go to medium mediums, and then you click on fractals. Now, when you click on fractals, go select the color where you want the indicator to look like, and you select blue, you select blue. Now, after selecting the color which you want, click OK. Now, when you click OK, this indicator will be displayed in our charts. Then, after displaying, you will get to know that everything will be easy for you to draw. Now, I'm going to give you an example. If I'm to draw trailing, let me say I want to get resistance level. I will connect this high and this high. Why? I'm focusing on these indicators. They can give me confirmation on how to draw trend lines. There's this one, there's this one, and there is another one here. So these indicators they also help you in drawing proper trend lines for the beginners. But if you're an advanced trader, you can be used on how to spot the swing lows and swing highs of the market in order to draw a proper trend line. So in today's video, all that I wanted to share with you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell in order to be 
notified whenever we upload a new video like this concerning one 